welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I do all things embroidery. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. In this video, I will be working on some cupcakes and let me flip through it. This is a big piece of paper. I'll be working on the star cookies. So let's get started. Okay, so we're starting with the cupcake. And it has one, two, three, four, five layers on the front and two layers on the back. Okay, so to start this cupcake, we're going to do the outline stitch using two strands of brown. And I'm just going to show you the beginning. Sometimes it's a little hard to get started. And then when you're done, we're going to work on the next piece. And I like to work on each individual piece and then attach them as I go. Okay, so that's what it looks like finished. Now we're going to add the beads and sequins to this layer. And I'm using two strands of brown again because we are using brown sequins. And when I'm using two strands, I like to just go through the bead once. And because these beads are so close together, I'm just doing it once and then going to the next one. And you're going to do that all the way around. Here is the finished piece and we're going to attach it with an applique stitch. And I just grabbed a pin so I can put so basically it just keeps it in place while I put it on because I don't want it sliding around. And I'm using one strand of tan. So it's very similar to the cupcake color. I'd say it's just like one or two shades lighter than the actual felt. Which is fine. It matches well enough. You're going to go all the way around the front and the back. Just make sure that you don't go all the way through because the, um, the stitches will show. So just make sure you're only grabbing a little bit of felt. And once I'm done with the front, I, I'll take the pin out because I won't need it anymore. Okay, now I'm on the back now. I'm only grabbing just a little bit of felt. Okay, take my pin out, and then I'm going to finish the back. This is what our cupcake looks like so far. Now we're going to work on the pink felt, adding the sequins and beads to all three of these pieces. And we're going to add them separately. Okay, so I went ahead and did that off camera. And now I'm going to work on the white felt. Same thing. Beads and sequins, and then applique. Here's the white piece, and here's the back. Now we're going to put those together. And I did use a pin, and I did notice that the bottom of the cupcake did not quite match up with the front. And that happens. Um, sometimes the stamp is not quite as perfect. So I like to match the colors and then I stuff the bottom and I use my fingers and I kind of just push it around with my fingers because the opening is big enough to where I can just use my finger I don't need a chopstick and I just kind of push it squish it down to see what you know if it's the thickness that I like because it's very easy to overstuff. And then I grabbed, it's kind of a golden color thread. It's the only one in the kit that matches or sort of matches. 
I probably could have found a closer color, but. Okay, so there's the cherry. And I did need the chopstick for the cherry because we are stuffing it. And it's really hard to get your fingers in there. So if you have a chopstick, even a pencil would work well. Use the eraser end. I sometimes use the other end. But... Okay, so now we're gonna use the same thread to applique the cherry on top of this cupcake. And I grabbed a pin to hold it in place. And we're gonna applique this cherry. And it is a little bit tricky to maneuver, so go slow. Hopefully it's in there, okay. There we go. Oh, see, <laughs> even with the pin, you know, it comes out. But that's okay, I'll just fix it. And now I'm going through the back. I just make sure I grab just a little bit of the cherry, make sure it doesn't, you know, move around too much. I get to the end and I'm like, you know, it's not quite as tight as I would like it to be. So sometimes you have to put in extra stitches even after you're done. I've had to do that a few times. There we go. Not too bad. I did end up putting a couple extra stitches in there because I'm just like, eh, it's a little too loose for my for my taste here. That's better. Perfect. Okay, finished cupcake. Number one. <laughs> We're making two of these. Okay, so basic basic concept for both cupcakes. Alright. So I'm gonna show you the second cupcake. Okay, so the second cupcake has pink on the bottom and different colors. So there's also different, notice that there's different color sequence here too. That's specified in the actual instructions, so make sure you pay attention to that. But those are done, so let's work on the cookies. Okay, here's the two star cookies. These are actually fairly simple to put together. And um, the instructions have you go from biggest to smallest. I actually do the other way around. And I'll show you what I mean. Because it's so simple. Okay, so we're actually starting with the red first, the middle section. Putting on all the beads and sequins. And then we're going to go back and applique the felt piece. I like doing it this way so that the piece stays put and you don't have to hold the piece. The red, the little red circle is really tiny and can be a little hard to um, keep in place. So I just use the beads to do that. That way you don't have to use a pin or anything. So now that the red one's done, I went ahead and did the white section. And both of these pieces are being held by the beads. And I'm actually going to go back and do applique stitches. So here's me doing the applique stitch after I've put on these two pieces. And I find that this method works super well. And it's simple, not too complicated. It is different from the instructions, I just wanna put that out there. Because the instructions have you go the other way around. It has you put the white on the brown and then the red on the white. But I do it opposite. I just find it a little bit easier to put together. Because these pieces are so tiny, it's hard to get a hold of them. Okay. So that's done. And then we're going to do the same thing for the white piece. And you could easily not do that. You could just leave it the way it is. But I decided to put that on there. Now we're going to add the back. Okay, so I skipped ahead. And now I'm stuffing this cookie. And I am using the chopstick. I'm using my, the fat end of it, mixture with my finger. And if you can't close it, you overstuffed. Just putting that out there. <laughs> so I'm pushing the stuffing away as I stitch. And using my chopstick to help too. Here are the finished cookies. Super cute. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you like this video and that you want to see more. Because I got tons on my channel. Speaking of my channel, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Here's a pic here's a view of both cookies and cupcakes. Close up. Follow me on social media. Uh, I have a Facebook group that you can join for free. Um, everything's in the description box below, including stuff that I use to make this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.